Hey guys, Spade Assassin here, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a simple redstone trading slash uh, trading station slash shop. So this is how it works. I set up a trade for a block of iron. You're gonna get a diamond. Toss in a block of iron, get a diamond. Now you might say that I can just open up the dispenser and get the diamonds, but actually, you see, there are no diamonds in here. And I can repeat this trade as much as I want, well as long as I don't run out of diamonds in my uh, stash behind there. So you see, works every time. But, oh, but if some people wanted to like come in and toss dirt to get diamonds, well, you see, that doesn't work. The hopper doesn't take it in, so it's got an automatic sorting system built in. So only blocks of iron will get accepted. If you want to toss a diamond back, you can't. Dirt. Nope. Or any other block. So that's it. Let me give you a bit of a tour of the redstone. So down here is uh, a sorting system. And above this hopper is a half slab. That's how we can get the items through without actually having access to the hopper itself. So here's a little automatic sorting system and that goes into the chest which is going to deposit your loot, right? This is simply like a little fail safe if you want to just stop the system from working. Um, and this functions on the fact that if you put in 18 of some block and then 3 more of these slots and then the block that you want to filter uh, once you get one more of the blocks that you want to filter, that's the iron block, it's going to output a signal which is going to allow this hopper to let the iron block through into the chest. Okay, and then as well, when you toss in the item, this lets a signal through the competitor, again, relying on the same too long thing, which will in turn depower this torch, which will allow this hopper, which is full of our diamonds, to let some come into here, into the dropper. And as well, this system is key is going to activate the dropper once the hopper has released one diamond in there. So it will release only one block and no more. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Some of you might already get how to make it, but here's a step-by-step -step tutorial for those who don't. Okay, so here's going to be a step-by-step tutorial. So these are the supplies that you're going to need. So one repeater, ten redstone, two comparators, two redstone torches, three hoppers, one dropper, a chest, uh, a lever which is optional, and uh, let's say just a stack of building blocks. It, it might take less, but I just want to be sure. So that and as well two of the blocks, at least two of the blocks that you're going to be sorting with. So Let's grab the supplies. There we go. And you want to start out by placing three pieces of your blocks just like this. On this block you want to place a redstone torch facing that way. And on this one you want to place a repeater facing that way. Now you want to stick a chest on top of here. That's where your output is going to go with a hopper facing into the chest. Um, behind the hopper, you're going to want to put a piece of uh, a block, actually, and another one over here with two pieces of redstone here and a computer coming out of this. Now you want to place a temporary block on top of this chest with a hopper facing into it. Yes, it has to be facing into this block and not the one below it. Okay, you can break that block now. You're done as far as that's concerned. So the, uh, this is your automatic sorting system and we're going to get to it a bit later. Now you're going to want to place two more blocks out here. Break the one in the middle and do a lever. So that's going to be able to stop your trading system from working. Now on the other side, you want to place three blocks with a comparator facing out of the hopper again uh, and you're gonna have one well two more actually I'm sorry three blocks so you're gonna have um, this kind of a system set up so two wires coming out of the comparator 
going into this block which is going to have a redstone torch on it okay so for the next step we're going to add one more piece of one more block with uh, another piece of redstone wiring then you want to add one more block on top of here with a piece of redstone on top of it and a block on top of the torch with a piece of redstone on it as well now you want to push this one more and get that done uh, one more block here with another piece of redstone on top of it now you want this to go into a block with a torch on the other side um, and uh, you also want one of these hoppers to be right here I believe yes um, one hopper needs to be facing into a dropper so just place some throwaway blocks and I apologize for this one more time there we go so there's gonna be a dropper here and a hopper facing into it now um, this would be a pretty good time to actually mention how the floor is gonna be so you're gonna want to have some half slabs across this hopper so this is where your floor of the trading se center will be right so just make sure to keep that in mind so you can build this whole thing underground now also you want to have a block on the side of this with a piece of redstone now that's pretty much it as far as redstone goes now just one more thing to set up the actual trading system, you're going to need to fill up these hoppers with some blocks. Now, I'm going to fill up this hopper with stone slabs. You want to have like a, a not commonly used block, because if people throw that block up on top and try to cheat the system, it's going to work. So yeah, stone slabs, nobody carries those around really, or you can even have droppers or something, but I'll just have stone slabs for an example. You want to spread them like this, three on here and have 18 of them in this slot over here and it has to be 18 of them in this slot um, now you're gonna wanna grab the blocks that you want to be your payment and throw in one of them into the first slot in this case it's a block of iron and that's what they're gonna be throwing on top okay so and in the bottom one just place one more block of iron in there okay so you're almost done now you all, you just want to put your the stuff that's going to be traded for so to throw in a block of iron you're going to get a diamond in this case but again you can exchange those with any blocks okay and this should be ready for a test run so let me just get my blocks of iron and if i toss in one block of iron it will dispense me one diamond and she's gonna want to test this a few times and it works like a charm every time and the only thing that you want to do now is make this a bit nicer you know add a roof to it possibly um, I could as well do something like this add a few more pieces back here so and if you try to toss in a cheaty block that won't work but as you saw if I toss in a stone slab it's gonna end up being in here and that's gonna mess up the system so again I'm warning you use only blocks are not necessarily used all the time in here because for example if you toss, try and toss in a hopper it's not gonna work but if you try and toss in the stone slab that you use down here it's gonna work so you can use cauldrons down here or something like nobody carries around with them all the time. Um, okay, so that was pretty much it for the little safe trading system. Now you can as well put some obsidian around here if you don't want people breaking in. And basically, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and more are to come very soon. See you in the next video and goodbye.